Hi gamers, do you like 2D platformers game? Then you've come to the right place. In this video, we will talk about 2D platformer game of all time that you should play. Please note, the game that I will include is 2D platformer with some action genre and not for 3D platformer. Alright then, let's see if your favorite is on this list. Shatterhand is a beautiful game to play but sometimes can be very challenging at times. The game drops you right into the action after you have peek in which level to spawn in a way similar to Space Harrier or Mega Man. The controls are fairly easy to master. You can jump and punch and that's about it, at least without picking up upgrades. The game is really cool and fun to play, the enemies and level setting, the bosses and soundtrack are phenomenal too. If you love action platformer and NES games, Shatterhand is a must try. Shadow of the Ninja is a fun and challenging action platform game with an engaging cooperative multiplayer mode. The game's difficulty level pushes players to improve and progress, making its PlayStation rewarding at time. The game features 5 expensive levels, each divided into multiple parts and offering a diverse range of environments, from ships to sewers and cityscapes. The variety in level design keeps the gameplay engaging and immersive, providing a fresh experience with each new stage. Shinobi 3 Return of the Ninja Master is a classic 2D side-scrolling action platform game that perfectly captures the essence of 90 ninja gaming. In the game, you play as Joe Musashi, a ninja from the Oboro clan on a mission to take down the criminal organization Neo Z led by the Zero Master. The games combine fun gameplay, excellent music, high-quality graphics, and challenging enemies to deliver an awesome ninja experience. This game was definitely good in its day. What do you think about this one? Mark of the Ninja is to distilled adventure game released in 2012 that combines elements from new and old still genre to create a potent and engaging gameplay experience. The gameplay in Mark of Ninja revolves around still mechanics such as snacking, hiding, and avoiding detection. The game's scoring system encourages players to experiment with different approaches adding depth to the gameplay and replay value. Moreover, the new gameplay mode increases the challenge by enhancing enemy difficulty while allowing players to retain unlocked abilities. That was the last of them. Rain World is not just any video game, it's unforgiving, it's unfair, but it's perfect. The game will frustrate you, it will make you feel like impossible, but it's not. The game teaches you to persist and keep trying. The gameplay is a mix of exploration, stealth, and survival. As the slug cat, you must hunt for food, avoid predators, and find safe places to hibernate during the torrential downpours that periodically flood the world. I would recommend this game to anyone who wants to try a new thing story survival with a tough of platforming. Cuphead combines challenging and unforgiving gameplay with the over-the-top animations of the 1930s in this fun adventure. This defining 2D platformer is fun to play, but will awaken some long-forgotten prehistoric traits. The trial and error gameplay isn't for everyone. The side gameplay, accompanied by incredible will realize aesthetic, makes for a truly unforgettable gameplay experience. While difficult at times, the sense of reward that you will get after each fight will have you continually coming back for more. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 takes us back to the golden era of Sonic games that offers a solid fast-paced platforming experience that is satisfying and fun. In the sequel, the game introduces new characters, Knuckles the Echidna, and includes more story sequences. This game is quick page, has amazing level design and amazing animation and also a great story. Not only that, you can become different characters for a different story. In my opinion, this game is the best for anyone, it's just a good classic. Mega Man X is a side scrolling action game that lives up to its mega name and is one of the best in video game history. Mega Man X was critically acclaimed for its challenging gameplay and detailed graphics. It spawned numerous sequels and has been released on various platforms, including the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. 
And if you wanna play for this game, for nostalgia, or you never played it before, then the Mega Man X Legacy Collection is an absolutely fantastic compilation that contains the first four Mega Man X games. The Missinger offers an adventure with controls running as tight and comfortable as the spandex pants worn by Ryu Hayabusa. The game is very loving homage to the classic Ninja Gaiden, as is typical of retro modern indies, the aesthetic is what your nostalgia tells you the old games look like. You will use your ninja skills to jump, punch, and slide your way through a series of red levels that will test your controls and agility. And as you progress, you gain new abilities such as the ability to climb walls, using hanging hooks to swing and fly like a squirrel, and these are evenly spaced out to make the platforming more challenging. Ninja Gaiden NES is a great classic action platformer game from Tecmo that came out in the 1989. The game is an adrenaline-filled rush that never gets old. The difficulty can be extremely unforgiving and punishing. While the first level might make players feel invisible, the game quickly ramps up the challenge, introducing enemies and obstacles that requires precise timing and reflexes. When you do get good enough to progress through each level, you will find it highly rewarding and satisfying. Pizza Tower, the newcomer 2D platformer in 2023 that draws inspiration from the Wario Land series emphasizing movement, exploration, and score attack. Players take on the role of Pepino Spaghetti, an agile Italian chef on a mission to destroy the pizza tower to save his restaurant. The speed of each 2D platforming can rival that of even the fastest Sonic games. It's not an easy game with their many challenges, hard bosses, levels, and more. But that's what I like about Pizza Tower. Super Meat Boy is an amazing platformer game that pays homage to the classic game. The game's level challenge really makes you think hard. Your goal is to rescue Bandage Girl, who's always in a different spot like a classic princess to be rescued. This game is insanely difficult, you can die from all sorts of traps with just one small mistake. What's fun is that, even though it's mainly single player, playing with friends is a blast. Especially when you stress, just pass the controller to a friend so they can stress out instead. Haha. <laughs> Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3 is a masterpiece to the platforming. It's not just a game from the 90s, it's a time classic that still holds its charm especially on the Game Boy Advance. The gameplay is on another level. The whole concept of throwing eggs and transforming into various vehicles was a way ahead of its time. And Yoshi abilities like the hover jump and powerful storm really adapt to how you play, especially when you have to keep baby Mario safe. It's one of those games that proves you don't need to cutting edge graphics to be iconic game. Wario Land 4 on the Game Boy Advance really showed us folks that 2D games still have their place in a world full of fancy graphics and 3D environments. Even though it looks simple, it's the storyline that keeps us hooked. The main goal is to guide Wario through six sections of the pyramid each containing four levels while collecting gemstones and racing against the clock. There are over 10 forms to discover and each level has its own challenges and puzzles. Despite some puzzles may pose a challenge, for younger players, the solid gameplay, cool graphics, and the immersive sound make this game stand out in the handheld gaming library. Katana Zero offers action that gets our adrenaline pumping, Fast-paced gameplay full of slashing action truly provides a thrilling experience. In the game, you will play as a samurai assassin with time manipulation abilities and the ability to peek into the future. This makes every level feel like a session of strategic murder planning. From a visual standpoint, Katana Zero truly stands with a sleek neon aesthetic, impressive sprite work, and retro electro soundtrack bro, it enhancing the gaming experience, immersing players into the stylish world of the game even more. Tonoa Door to the Pentamile is a side scrolling platform game viewed from 2.5D perspective. These characters' moves are great for how basic they are, and the game uses all of them a lot. The buttons and joysticks are easy to use, and the 3D features work surprisingly well. 
Defeating bosses is the best part of the game. Each one is different and fun. Have you ever played this game? Seriously, you should give this a try. Sonic 3 and Knuckle Emphasizes speed in addition to platforming just like other Sonic games. One thing different from Sonic 1 in this regard is that Sonic 3 removes the speed cap from that game, allowing Sonic to accelerate to ridiculous speed. The game provides engaging gameplay with the option to play as either Sonic or Knuckles. Knuckles introduces new gameplay mechanics like gliding and wall climbing, offering players a different experience compared to the playing as Sonic. This game has the best graphics of any classic Sonic game, especially for 1994 game. Rayman Legends is a top-notch platformer game that excels in maintaining momentum and keeping players engaged with its meticulous design level. Drawing inspiration from its predecessor, Rayman Origins, this game offers a charming and polished experience with vibrant characters and rich environments. The levels are designed to have seamless flow, providing a mix of comical and challenging scenarios. The variety of aesthetic and mechanical concepts keeps the gameplay fresh and engaging. And those musical levels choreograph with popular song add a fun and creative element to the game. Cyber Shadow is a modern AAA game that pays homage to classic retro games from the 1980s. All talk some might compare it to the Messenger, Cyber Shadow stand out because of its more serious tone and extra attention to visual details and storytelling. In the game, players control Shadow, a cyber ninja on a mission to navigate Mecha City, rescue clan members, and defeat the ruthless villain, Dr. Progen. With well-passed action and flashback that adds depth to the Shadow characters and creates suspense throughout the adventure. Some mechanics like knockback features can be frustrating, especially in tricky platforming section. Super Mario World is a beloved classic that has stood the test of time. The game follows a familiar storyline where Mario rescues Princess Toadstool from Bowser. While introducing new features and characters like Yoshi the Dinosaur, the core of the game remains a 2D platformer with the goal of rescuing the princess which might feel somewhat repetitive to some players. The difficulty level can be challenging especially in the latter stage when finding secrets exist becomes crucial. The music in this game is memorable and adds to the overall charm of Super Mario World. Silas is one of these games you absolutely have to try. Seriously, it's an action platformer that really gets you adrenaline pumping. Just imagine diving into an environment that's not only challenging but also super fast paced, and the environment itself is seriously hostile. There are mechanics like Madeline Dash ability that are super useful. You will get a mix of platforming challenges that really makes you scratch your head along with puzzles that need solving. It's like you have to think and move fast at the same time, and when you succeed, it feels so rewarding making you want to chase even more. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is a challenging platformer game that offers a rewarding sense of accomplishment for players who dare to face its tough levels and bosses. The game is full of secrets and collectibles that enhance the overall experience. In Switch version, the game introduces funky mode offering more accessible gameplay while still maintaining the core challenge of the original. Moreover, the games look fantastic on the Switch, with smooth animation and impressive visuals whether play in dock or handheld mode. Castlevania Rondo of Blood it's the best game in the Castlevania series that you will never forget before change to the Metroidvania genre. Believe me, it's the best game from the classic age that really changes what Castlevania is all about. The level design which is legit amazing. There are stages with really cool layouts, fun tags, and secret paths that will make you want to keep exploring. While the story may be simple, the totally animated and voice acted cutscenes are really cool. They really bring the characters to life and get you excited for the big fight with Dracula to come. Shovel Knight Treasure Trove is a must-have collection for fans of retro-style platformers. One of my favorites in this game is the co-op mode. You can have fun with your friends using Joy-Con, it's like bringing the good old days back with a touch of modernity. 
And then, there's a body swap feature. You can customize the gender and pronouns of the main character, which means you can bring a fresh vibe into the game. I think this is one cool way to make the game more inclusive and relatable for a variety of players. With a range of unique abilities and attacks, including wall running and rail grinding, playing as Specter Knight brings back nostalgic vibes from classic platformers like Castlevania. Now is the number one Super Mario Bros. 3. Seriously, this game isn't just good, but it also has a huge impact on the gaming industry and the Mario franchise as a whole. The gameplay of this game is so inventive that it's very remarkable for its day. It's really great that the Mario universe has been effectively enlarged in ways that no one could have predicted. It is very innovative from the well thought out level design to imaginative new power-ups. Also, I forgot to say that the boss fights are very important. They are much better than previous games and each one has its own obstacles and strategies that players must learn to beat. And that's it for today. What do you think about this list? I know there are best 2D platformer games that I haven't mentioned yet. Feel free to tell us if you think that deserve a spot here. Don't forget to like the video and make sure subscribe this channel if you don't want to miss another great list. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.